Hello and welcome to this lovely Audi Q5. I'll start off this offside front corner with you and I'll walk you around it. So as you can see, it's finished in best-selling black. Could do with another set of number plates. I know you'll probably put your own on, but they've started to delaminate a bit. I've angled the wheels so I can show you the tyres. All absolutely fine, but they are a bit thin just on the outer edge, as you can see there. So for me, you'd be putting a tyre on it. The great news is it's not the biggest wheel in the world, so you won't have to remortgage your house to, uh, to get some wheels on it. It's a black car, so I'd recommend a buff and polish on it just to set it off but it is a nice and level car there is the, the odd little mark that you'll need to just touch in in fact I think that's a bit of muck or tar yeah that is it's tar but that the odd little touch up there and so there's a little bit to do on it wheels are in perfect order again that rear tyre is a bit thin it's legal but it's thin walking around the back of it Nothing really to write home about. I'll just go in the boot, show off its wares. Power tailgate. Oh, what have we got in here? All sorts of goodies. So, first aid kit, couple of polishing rags, litre of oil, cargo net, and the Piesta Resistance, a pair of brand new roof bars for it. So it's got a roof transport system as well. Couple of curry hooks going on down here. And again, more cargo nets for you. So, power tailgate, reverse park sensors as well. And again, wheels are all in perfect order, but tyres are a little thin, although there's plenty of meat on that one, at least three mil on there. But as I say, they're not the biggest wheels in the world, so I won't be losing any sleep over that. We don't guarantee tyres in any way, shape or form, just to make it clear, uh, but we do try and give you an indication whether you're picking up on a set of skinheads. That tyre, perfect. So you're probably into two on the near side, bit unusual, but hey, there you go. Don't, don't think you'd do that rear, uh, but those other two are a bit thin. Okie dokie, so that's the car. All lovely, as it should be. I'll just switch to the interior for you. Okay, so we've got this cross-hatched aluminium finish to the interior trim. We've got full leather seats. We've got a great service history as well. So it's been serviced by Audi uh, in uh, 12... I guess that was 13, yep, 13 there at the top, 14 and 15, all done by the Audi main agent. So it'll be due one, I would think, at some point now-ish. But there's no light on the dash telling me. Just go around the back with you. Here we go, in the back. All as it should be. It's got over mats, it's got everything it needs to. It's just a nice little Audi Q5, to be fair. So, 95,769 miles. I'm amazed. I truly am amazed. The car's lovely. I thought it'd done like 30, 31,000 miles and it had been owned by the local vicar. But uh, no, it's really, really nice, this car. Um, for the age of mileage, just if you're, if you're in the market for one of these, just get this bought. You won't find a nice one. A couple of tyres and you're away. Um, climate control everything you'd expect don't think we've got nav uh, but let's have a look don't appear to be media now I think you can add nav to these it's got a band as we can see so and telephone the telephone may not be connected so yeah it's got uh, it's got a telephone auto headlights uh, it's got some nice little bits to it multifunctional steering wheel um cruise control down here um as well so uh, yeah that's all good i am still amazed about that miles so there you have it one very very nice audi q5 um winning bidder please feel free to download the photos they're yours to keep get it on your web website ready to retail thanks for watching bye bye